Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel, right? So we have two wars this time around and I actually do have quite a few fights in the war number five and war number six I do have some more exciting fights. Actually scratch that, even in war number five I have some exciting fights. And the biggest reason for the exciting fights is the fact that it's so hot in UK right now. Uh, I think, well, today's my birthday and it's also the hottest day of the year ever in UK or something of the sort. Uh, it's about like 38 and I know for some of you it's not much but in UK it's just feeling absolutely horrible. Point is I wipe my hands, I wash my hands and within two minutes they are sweaty again and my champions do whatever they want and we're going to see quite a bit of that today as well. I really haven't found a solution to the problem. I have tried uh, washing my hands with dishwashing liquid, uh, baby powder, <laughs> but not, none of that helps. So it's just so, so sweaty around here. I think I'm on my third shower today already and it's uh, 3 p.m. right now. Right, let's get to it. So new nation against Palo. So my fights are with Kingpin, with Falcon and with Nimrod. I only have three fights actually, so this is going to be brief war. This war I actually had to play uh, whilst uh, Emma and John, so JJ and uh, JS, uh, a couple of my moderators, had come to visit me and uh, give uh, some incredible gifts. They also came over last year uh, with an interesting gift package and there was just a ton of awesome things that they dropped off for me from all the community. So I have to say huge, huge thank you to every single one of you. And uh, like we have a very cool painting and we have some cool lighters and we got some less cool things but anyways that's an entire story in itself so the first fights here you can see that i'm boosting up a steady build of fury long distance relationship and that is going to be kingpin fight i actually had to wait till the boss was down to do these fights in order not to have to deal with the global node here but it's all good. And here again, I just uh, missed the parry. This one's on me totally because my ability accuracy was reduced. But at this point, I do have three Furies and four Furies. And we can see that uh, <clears throat> Claire is just getting smacked in a face. Now here I'm thinking, do I just push for it or not? And I decided to go for it. And that was a very, very quick Kingpin fight. The Kingpin is rank four, by the way. So uh, very tanky boy. Now we're up against Domino and here the input issues are starting to show. I really have had extremely hard time playing Milecons of Champions like at all to somewhat decent level. It's especially visible in Battlegrounds. Sometimes it doesn't even let me tap <laughs> to select a champion because yeah, I don't know. It, it's just been absolute bonkers in the last few days here. So uh, I'm at 10 charges. Everything's fine. She's lucky though. So she's building straight to level three, which is not great but i do i th i think i still have the indestructible boost on so we're not too stressed i'm gonna need that level three from domino and after that we should be at two bars of power and everything is gonna be golden so obviously uh here i still had to drop a couple of hits she awaits there not a problem she does actually get a couple of licks at me but that's all absorbed by indestructible boost and uh, Nimrod's tankiness, I just drop one unblockable level two and the fight's over. That's what Nimrod does, that's why it's so super safe. Now this next fight though, I was super worried, especially because one of the hardest things <laughs> with sticky fingers is to dex. And in this fight, it's gonna be visible that I'm gonna accidentally parry like five times. And obviously because of kinetic transference, it's really, really big problem. And uh, this fight went south very, <laughs> very fast. <laughs> So, uh, I have done this fight multiple times in the past, and it's really not a hard fight. With Falcon, basically just, you know, switch on your lock on and go, go, go thing smacking. Only thing you obviously need to take care of is the power bar, make sure that he doesn't get three bars of power. And uh, that's your literal only job here, <laughs> don't let him get three bars of power. Now, there was one accidental parry, which I didn't try to do. Luckily here he throws his level two, awesome. Now I can still get a few good licks in. He still only has like one rock charge. Now I'm going to drop a full combo here, obviously, because I do need to you know, like wait for the next lock on to come. And I figured, you know, I'm just going to play with the thing. I'm not going to try and dance around. And here again, all of these times I was trying to dex. I was trying to dex. He just parries. Here this time around again. Now this time, obviously, 
I did uh, this time it wasn't an input issue and here it just threw a random special attack I didn't even press on that special attack I swear <laughs> and he's at 11 charges now my lock on is expiring obviously because of aspect of evolution he's gaining power quicker and quicker and he's starting to gain charges as I combo into him here I got super lucky because uh, he gained a charge but he didn't gain the unstoppable and here I'm I was just trying to dex all the time and it just does not let me to dex and I eat a level 3 now I still have indestructible 3 boost on but that's not necessarily the biggest problem here he's only at 6% though however <laughs> however he has 12 charges he's unstoppable <laughs> so here I just shoot my level 2 in the self-preservation I shoot my level 1 and he drops a heavy attack luckily he drops a level 1 which I somehow managed to wait against the wall and finish off the fight this was such a messy messy go around and uh, now I have the next set of fights and this is the next war this is war against DSVG, Munash's Alliance, Swedish Alliance. And uh, this uh, is going to be trickier here. Again, accidentally tapped on 20% boost. So I did have to replace it with the 30% boost. And I'm really, really happy that I did. I actually hadn't connected the dots, but hadn't I done that, I would have died 100%. So these fights are recorded today. Currently, it's about 38 degrees where I'm sitting at. And again, like UK is not made for that. We don't have aircon and stuff like that. So all of our houses are made to retain heat. And it's just so hot everywhere. And this first fight, I wasn't worried at all. It's just a Mephisto. But even here already, we're going to see some very random, very strange beha behavior uh, of my sweaty fingers. If you guys have any kind of like better advices for me, I'm, I'm all ears because at the moment I'm trying everything and nothing is working. I'm about to try drown shampoo on my hands according to my girlfriend it ought to work similar to baby powder so we're gonna see how that happens but luckily this fight is like super safe obviously because kitty is incinerate immune i don't really need any debuffs so i can knock him down safely whenever and uh you know it's happy days i really don't have much to stress about it so again we can knock him down sweet i have enough prowesses so that i did not get intercepted uh, sorry, I did not get the intercept in, so now I'm going to go for it. I only have four prowesses, but I'm still going to go and drop my level two, because why not? It still pushes him to the 30 percentile where he uses his regeneration ability. Now, this is not the best kitty gameplay by a mile, but the most catastrophic thing <laughs> is about to come. I'm actually quite, uh, quite worried what's going to happen when my officers see this footage, but I promise this is 100% just so many problems playing the game it's not just alliance where it's everything obviously I, I really can barely get the game to do what i want because of all of the humidity and everything else um so now i'm gonna knock him down sweet i just go in there whatever overkill for the finish not a problem i was also lucky that i got to do all my fights in one go so i don't have stress for it but now this Nova fight is actually super, super interesting because I was meant to use Dr. Doom. That was the assignment. The problem with that was that my Dr. Doom is in defense. So we obviously I noticed that only when I was meant to join already. And here Nova just does not want to get reparried. And I get cornered and I'm using up my indestructible boost here already. And uh, he's smacking me quite hard. And finally, <laughs> finally I can kind of like start my counter attack not to sound okay it does nothing else matters it, it is a lot of problems uh, obviously here with Nova it's super hard to reparry and uh, I'm already super stressed because I'm cornered and now he goes unblockable and he drops a level two unexpectedly and I survive on three percent health so had I used any smaller boost, hadn't I used the biggest health boost that I had, hadn't I replaced the 20% attack boost that I accidentally used, I'd be dead. Now, thankfully, <laughs> now, thankfully, I dropped the level 3, which get, gave me back 20% health, which is workable, which is above Assassin's range, 
and I do get the fury from ebb and flow knockdown. And here we're kind of clutching out the fight. This fight should not have been anywhere close as dramatic as it was. It really, really should not have been. You can see here it says 3%. <laughs> One more crit. Oh, man. That's not all, though. <laughs> Still have two fights left. Now, this bishop fight actually goes very well. This is my first time using Kitty in Season War. And this is also my first time using Tiger in Season War, by the way. So I'm going to use Indestructible 3 boost here again, because it is very close war. The difference, when I was doing my fights, the difference was only one death. And uh, the plan here is to get my three prowesses before he gets to a level one. So I do need to nail an intercept, which first go around doesn't work perfect, but that's why we have Indestructible boost. Now I did get my intercept. And now the plan is to bait out his level ones as soon as he gets to a level one. And he didn't want to throw it. But as soon as he starts shooting those uh, bullets, I just phase through all of it. I lose all my promises, but I'm still phased by the end of it. So I use that as an opening. So again, here I did make a mistake where I did get a couple of disorients on me. But it's fine. I got my three promises back on. It's all good. Those three disorients are actually helping me generate furies thanks to Magneto Synergy, which is kind of neat. So here again, he's throwing his level one and I am phasing through all of it using that as an opening. And uh, I just need to get one more promise before I can safely do that again. So I do just that. I'm going to be waiting for his level one, which is awesome. If he throws it and he does and I run in there and he <laughs> phased a tiny bit too quick, but it's fine. And then 91% and Fairly clean fight, I'd like to say. Wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. Now, this Terex fight, I was practicing a ton, because there is a tr trick you can do with Terex. Whilst he has his Rockfield active, you can kind of dash back and throw your heavy attack, because he will virtually always try to charge his heavy attack. And I tried that, and I didn't get consistent results. So what I had decided to do, I'm just going to block bait a heavy attack, punish that, and then we're going to go from there. Because on this fight, I do not want to parry because uh, especially if I do not have neutralize on. But this Terex was just super determined to throw full combos. So by the time I actually got to bait out a heavy attack, half of my phases were already gone. And here he resisted and parried me. So that's perfect. So at this position, I just want to get him back in the corner and get the fight under control. Now I know that Finn is going to be extremely unhappy with me. And here I do eat a bit more of hits. That was a control issue there. We're going to call it like that. But now at this point, I do have the fight under control despite what it looks because I have gotten Terex back in the corner. I can parry him because we have neutralized active. He's not going to be gaining his armor ups. Now I can spam my heavy attacks and I can just get to level two and finish off the fight. Now, it started very, very dodgy. <laughs> but luckily at the end, I could kind of get my bearings around, refocus it. And I do understand that this definitely wasn't the most confident Tiger fight. But overall, I must say, I definitely have been kind of getting more and more confident with Tiger. I have been using her quite a lot in pretty much all of the content and Balgrons as well. So the fight started definitely dodgy, but we we finished it out well. So hopefully Finn is not going to pluck his hair out. And uh, yeah, these were so messy fights. I was... <laughs> But uh, I'm just happy that this heat ought to be gone tomorrow. Either way, let me know how you guys are doing. And I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about...